What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'll be giving you guys a first look at a new all-in-one emulator called Delta. So Delta is a brand new application from the developer of GBA for iOS and it just entered its first beta stage tonight, December 20th. Now if you're unfamiliar with emulators, they basically just allow you to play games from other systems on your iPhone, like the N64 and the Game Boy Advance for example. So Delta builds on GBA for iOS by adding support for SNES, Game Boy Color, and N64 to the same application and actually according to a presentation of Delta that I saw a couple days ago they plan to bring GameCube, PSP, and PSX emulators to Delta as well which will 100% definitely make this the go-to emulator for iOS. Alright so let's go ahead and take a look at Delta's UI and how it plays on the iPhone 7 running on the latest iOS 10.2.1 beta 2 firmware. So as you can see the icon there it's very reminiscent of the GBA for iOS icon. Let's go ahead and launch it. So as you can see the emulators are basically sectioned off by platform and you get a really nice display with a graphic of the games from for the most part as you can see there's one right here that does not have a graphic but most of them actually pull in the graphic automatically so that's really cool all right so let's go ahead and load up pokemon ruby which i was actually just playing before i started shooting this video let's go ahead and see how it loads up and runs on the iphone 7 so we're gonna go ahead and skip this go i'm gonna go to menu i'm gonna load state i'm gonna load in one of my saves as you can see it does auto save but I saved one myself right there. Go ahead and tap on that. And we are in right here with Pokemon. So let me go ahead and turn my volume down so you can actually hear me. So as you can see, this plays just like the Game Boy Advance. We have the controls right here, and obviously it does look exactly like GBA for iOS, except it does say Delta there instead of GBA for iOS now. And if we go ahead and tap on menu, you can see we have a new layout here. We have save state, load state, cheat codes, fast forward, and sustain buttons. And if we want to resume our game, we can just go ahead and tap on resume. And I will say that you definitely need to use fast forward, especially for Pokemon, because these t long talks can get pretty repetitive. So there we go, as you can see, and we do have the haptic engine working right here. So the buttons, when you press them, you get that slight vibration for every button press, and it feels amazing on the iPhone 7. All right, so after we beat that Wurmple, we're just going to go back. And we're gonna save our game right here. So if you go ahead and tap save state and then tap on the last save, it will actually save it right there. Then we're gonna to go to menu, we're gonna to go to main menu, and we're gonna load up an SNES game, Super Mario World, right here. As you can see, it's just that simple to switch to a different game. And one thing I will tell you is that this game right here is so much better than the new Mario run. I can't even begin to explain it now. You may have a different feeling, you know, if you grew up playing this, you're gonna definitely feel the same way. But if not, you may feel different, that's fine. It's just always fun to play these old classic games right here on your brand new iPhone 7. So let's go back to the main menu just before I end this video, just to show you some last settings. If you wanna add ROMs, you can just go and tap the plus icon right there. I will get into a lot more of this later, especially when it goes public but it is still in beta, as I mentioned, so I will get into that later on, how to add ROMs and things like that. If you go ahead and tap the settings up there, you can see that you have different inputs for different players, and you have your skins right here for Super Nintendo. That is what it looks like when you're in landscape mode, and then for Game Boy Advance, looks like that in landscape mode. I really prefer portrait, and I'm pretty sure most people do as well, but you do have the landscape option if you choose to use that. And as I mentioned, N64 is not supported right now. This is the very first beta. It's pretty smooth and very stable, I should say, uh, for the first beta. Now, I wish N64 was working because I was really looking forward to that, but it should be out, I'm assuming, in the second beta, or you know, I don't really know what he has planned, the developer has planned for this. But I really want to show you guys some N64 gameplay on Delta. So there is a first look at the upcoming all-in-one emulator called Delta. Make sure to stay tuned for continued coverage on the application and I'll also be sure to let you guys know when the app officially launches to the public. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Delta coverage, iOS 10 jailbreak news, tutorials, and so much more. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.